it's really refreshing to see someone who has made a name for themselves based off of their talent rather than their TikTok and skills, which is, you know, consists of basically doing nothing. I mean, out of yeah. all the hours you spent throughout your life mastering your craft, building a business, writing music, etc., is it all just a little bit disheartening to see a large yeah. portion of the youth today inspired mostly by people who dance in crosswalks and twerk in their bedroom. Yes. And I can't help to feel a tiny, tiny bit guilty to contribute to a lot of that. You know, I think, uh, when I think about, um, when, you know, I started a makeup line, uh, you know, 12 or 13 years ago. And since then, since then I have sold it. And, uh, a lot of it was for those specific reasons. You know, I think that the makeup world mutated into something that I feel comfortable being a part of anymore. And I, I'm proud of the things that I was able to contribute, but I, I remember towards the very end of my, um, my career in the makeup world, I felt so much pressure from, uh, especially the people that were investing in my company mm. to, to do things that were, um, you know, especially in the YouTube world that I just was like, Oh God, this is, this is torture. I don't know the, the, the vanity aspect I struggle with. My concept of beauty is, has nothing to do with exterior. So it, how, how do I, how do I walk that tightrope of working in an industry that is literally that, but yeah, there's, there's some stuff in that world. That's quite repulsive. I mean, that's how you and I met, you know, I saw some of your videos and I was like, Oh cool. This guy gets it. And, yeah. um, and you know, I love seeing your comments because I feel less alone in this world. Like, okay, other people are seeing what I'm seeing as well. You know, uh, we have, like I showed you the, the street, right, right across from where we live. Right. It's like influencer alley, you know, it's <laughs> yeah, like, the, yeah, there's, yeah. it's, it's, it's the famous street with all the palm trees that line up with the Hollywood sign in the background. People just travel from near and far to risk their own lives and put other people's lives sure. in there just to get the shot in the middle of the street. And, um, you know, we take my son on, on walks around the block and it is disheartening because there's a certain desperation that, that it feels like there's like a, you know, without making it too sad is like a bottomless void that people are trying to, to fill with all the wrong things, you know? And I bet that every one of those kids or, or adults has some sort of unique ability in them that if they only honed in on that, maybe. I mean, they, they might be wasting their fucking time. Like, listen, like <laughs> I remember I, I started, I started uh, tattooing when I was 14 years old. I ended up having a leg up on a lot of people because I started sooner and I dedicated more time and hours. It's not that I was born with this innate talent that like right. God blessed me with like, no, I, there was a skill. I sucked in the beginning and I worked really hard at, at getting better. But while everybody else was partying, while all my friends were making out and smoking weed, I was tattooing until the wee hours of the night just to wake up and do it all over again. So I think that like, when I think about the amount of hours people put into um, their TikTok videos or whatever it is, you know, whatever yeah. they choose to do with, you know, whether it's watching binge watching Netflix or, or whatever, I, um, you know, you're, you're investing that time into you're mastering that, you know, whether yeah. it's good or bad. Yeah. Maybe these people are great at other things or maybe they've wasted their life.